Hey everyone, it's Eric with Fall Fanatics. Chris and I just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Say hey, you got, uh, what, two days or something like that to get in our contest. We also wanted to touch base on that note, on the giving note, on the Christmas note, that we've banned about 50 people from our page here in the last 24 hours. Uh, Chris and I started this page a few years ago just to share uh, pictures and videos of us out hunting. And our friends started sharing and liking those videos and it kind of took off from there. And now we're way over 100,000 likes. We're going to hit 200,000 likes here soon. And that's great. But in the meantime, we got all these Monday morning quarterbacks, you know, just, I don't know, living in their mom's basement. Give me more Pop-Tarts. Another guy can't identify a bird, ma. I, I It's just, I haven't seen so much rudeness in inside of a community in my life. It, you should be ashamed of yourselves. When new people to a hobby or a sport come in, you have to be there to help them, especially if you're the expert you think you are. People can spend their time doing a, a lot of stuff. You know, people have jobs. You got to clean your car. You got to do chores around your house. You got all kinds of things that you have to do, right? And then you choose a hobby. Like, you could do anything. You, you, you could go in a CrossFit class where half the uh, people in the CrossFit class are attractive young women. You could go play golf. You could drive cars, do a quad heli. I mean, there's a billion things people could do, and, and they will be accepted if they get there. If they know nothing, you go paintball, rent a gun, people treat them good, show them their gun, etc., etc. In this sport, however... Unless your great 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 granddaddy's been duck hunting, which is always a bunch of bull, you know. My family, everyone's been duck hunting forever too, you know. But I, I don't have to say my great great great. I still started out and I didn't know what I was doing, and my uncles and my dad taught me. And some people don't have that. They don't have people around to teach them the the birds or the shells or the spread or the decoys or. The, Whatever it takes, how mojos work, how to uh, scout properly. but And they want to come to this page, a page that's a community of duck hunters sharing pictures and ask questions. And one out of ten assholes has to go on and on and on about how they're so much superior than everybody else. Well, Chris and I have had it. That's it. If you're negative, if you're negative about our sport, if you're negative to people on the page... You're just going to be banned. So, negative all you want, right down behind this, down below this video, and Chris and I will happily ban y'all. For the people that are good, the people that are helpful, thank you. Thank you for being positive. That is the bulk. That's the majority of our our people. The ninety percenter is is a good person that's trying to help people out. That loves duck hunting. They're passionate about it. This sport will not have a future unless we bring up younger or new people that want to get involved with it. You have to have people that want to do this to keep it going. I'm sure that's not sinking into you idiots, but the people that know, the 90% of us that know, that's why we're kind to them. Not to mention, just be kind. Merry Christmas. Just be kind.